August 4th, 1964. Bureau agents discover the oldest house investigating an altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. It's a place of power. From the outside, it looks like an ordinary building, a brutalist skyscraper. But inside, it breaks the laws of our reality. Unstable, mad, shifting. There are rooms in the building where other dimensions leak in. We call these rooms thresholds. There is a connection between our minds and the unknown, often hostile forces intruding on our world. These forces gravitate toward everyday objects, a gun, a television, a house with a reputation of being haunted. So somehow, we affect these events. We're holding the key, but we don't have a clue on how to use it. We're dealing with dangerous, unknown forces here. We're on a mission to find answers to these questions. Or die trying. This is Zachariah Trench the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. Hello, travelers, and welcome back to the episode of Game Time with Movie Man. I'm never... Uh, God, I... Uh, I don't know if it's me or the microphone. I just... Audio. I can get video and, uh, and lighting down well enough right now, but audio... Ugh. Anyway, we're playing Control. Uh, finally getting back into it. I've been... Uh, this is going to become as a surprise to any constant viewers of the channel, all two or three of you, but I've been slacking and recording this one. And I'm going to be slacking even more so because Borderlands 3 comes out this evening. <laughs> so, I figure I better play some more of this before I have to have all my time devoted to that. Uh, side note, I do not plan on... well. I don't really plan on recording Borderlands 3. I wanted to stream it. I don't have a streaming setup down really well, but in retrospect, I might do like the first the first hour of Borderlands 3. See how that goes. I don't know. Anyway, uh, resume game. We are in maintenance with our jovial and cryptic friend, Ati. Now, we said we take on the side mission, so I'm going to go ahead and tackle that real quick. Burn the trash around the furnace. I'm gonna go do that. Now, I don't know where the furnace is necessarily. Oh. That's why I have to go this way. Do I? I think it's an offset of this big room, yeah. So this is where he he gave us level 2 clearance in the last episode. Uh, power plant, coolant pumps. He said that we gotta basically fix the issue with the machines down here, otherwise the entire facility is going to go up. Which, uh, oldest house or not, don't think anybody would be safe from that. Ventilation, janitor's office. Can I open that? Oh hell, alright. It's an additional side room. I love exploring the facility. I know I've seen this game's praises over and over again. Shatter projectile choke. Might look at that later. I can still hear Ahatsi clear as day. Oh, it's the room I couldn't access before. Oh, okay. That all forks back around. All right. Oh, okay, Jesus. What happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Oh. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Uh huh. Keep the lights on. You keep talking about duty. Northmore. Oh, oh, it's a full thing, okay. Northmore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. Neither did I. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. Northmoor was all about power. A mm. man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Mm. Until it was too much. 
I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmore. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. Hmm. I had nothing to lose. So you were already in the company? I picked up the gun almost on a dare. Huh. Interesting. Coming storm, ocean view motel, hotline control points. Okay, so you get a glimpse of it, and then you can actually pick up the... Oh, that's cool, because she's actually on the phone. You can pick up the phone and listen to the entire little monologue there, the information re informational reveal. Okay. So some people want the power, some people don't. Oh, there's a lift. Ventilation, NSC plant. So either way, I gotta make my way around there. I can still hear Ahati singing, this is ridiculous. Can I go up? Just down? How do I still hear him singing? Oh, there we go, it cut out. No, I can still hear his echo. What the fuck? It's almost bugging me. Documents. Erish escape object of object of yeah. Words. <laughs> Attention maintenance staff. An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple weeks ago and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. So if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse sipping around the sector, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own and definitely don't bind it to yourself. Your security chief, Simon Erish. Not too late. We bound. How many objects of power are we gonna bind to ourselves, dude? Like an omnipotent director here. <laughs> All right. So I'm downstairs then. Yeah, there's multi layers to this. Pretty good job with map design. Oh Jesus! NSC power plant. Oh boy. So is that a good guy? I can only assume it is. They're wearing the vest. Uh, let's see. A big ass area. I can still hear Ati's voice kind of floating around. Anything of use in this shelter? Uh, threshold remnants. Good. I can still hear him singing. How? <laughs> Not at all. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Alright. I don't really see any collectibles. A lot of, hell of a lot of equipment. Anything hiding in the corners over here? Probably not. Hey. Hello. Hey, are you new? Go talk with Chief Arish in the security booth. He's in charge here. Okay. Oh, Chief Arish. Security. All right. Excuse me. Ma'am. Hey. Chief Arish. FBC security. Shouldn't you be hey. in the safe room? Now I'm good, fam. They all have HRAs. Yeah, so they're okay. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah, Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. <laughs> Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. 
Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before mm. everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. Mm. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Mm. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Uh-huh. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Yeah. That's catchy. <laughs> Listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure we'll have to fight I'm Salvador. Sure have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Yeah. All right, sounds Try good. To stay alive. <laughs> Can I talk more to him? Up to him? When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. Um. Oh, wait. Sure, why not? What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss haven't completely erased the people inside. You need to take advantage of which ones are equipped for what. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. Yeah. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. It's so interesting. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? Huh. <laughs> All right. What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. Can't wait to meet him. And you like your job? What? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos. But I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. Mm -hmm. Amen to that. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. Yeah. I like that. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, how about the power plant itself? What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. You get the hang oh, of yeah. it. <laughs> it's all part of the job. Okay, uh, my service. What's he gonna know about my service weapon? What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. That thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. <laughs> is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. This guy seems alright, even Keel. What about Ati? Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Hmm. Dude has got some crazy stories. <laughs> yeah, I bet. He probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Uh, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned. You know? I get your meaning. What do you know? Wait, wait, wait. My bad. They want to all right, I cool. should be going. Right. You got a lock down the lift. Oh, yeah. We're working on that. Oh, more personnel. Yeah, I'm, I always forget. It's so empty most of the building. I forget that, like, I'm sure hundreds and hundreds of people work here. Shatter recoil efficiency. Um, shatter projectiles fired. So that's added. Projectile boost for damage, I'd assume. Personal mods, weapon mods, uh, assets, clearance level. All right. She knows. I just wanted to make sure. I know. Don't worry. Oh, I almost skipped a documente. Irish and security matters. This is from him, anyway. 
Uh, hey Simon, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the sector is asking about Ati, just tell them you'll handle it and leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any personal personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him so you could better deal with his odd habits, but yes, it's still very much a classified matter. Also, I saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the Foundation. Detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on next steps. Cheers, Lynn. P.S. In case you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. To Arish from Salvador. Keep a lookout. Huh. Yeah. Something going on in-house, it seems. Alright, cool. Keep on, keep on keeping it on. So, I would say first I want to burn the, the trash real quick. Ooh, cool. Save this uh, control point. Hell yeah. Still gonna be red though, it looks like. And new abilities. Uh, how many points? I have four. I can do energy, health. Launch damage. I think launch damage would definitely help. Cool. What else is there? Uh, launch grenades and rockets back at the enemy. Ooh, that could be helpful. Nice. I might do that then, yeah. Focus on launch. Visualistic thinking. Focus on launching this time around. Additional. Okay, use 8 to unlock additional personal mod slot. Do I have an additional weapon slot yet? Astral Constructs. Uh, weapon forms. Still. Oh, spin! A generous magazine and a high rate of fire. Best in controlled bursts. Oh, yeah. I need a shitload more ritual impulses and some threshold remnants, though. It's going to be a minute before I can afford that one. And then personal mods. Um, I can afford that. Obscured personal, all right, personal mod, weapons mods, upgrade. Oh, they're just mods for the weapons and all that. Okay, I'll hold off for a while. My current loadout is working well enough, so... Don't want to fix what ain't broke. All right. What is over here? Mmm! <laughs> Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm watching, uh... Got a long list of shows to watch. Been catching up on the uh, the dark. Cr oh, catching up on dark crystal. So <laughs> the Chamberlain is just in my head <laughs> like a mantra. It's, yes, Jesse. Jesse would never hurt Gelflin. <laughs> All right, control, maintenance, converter, coolant. Ah, uh, let's head over this away. Take care. Of burn the trash around the furnace. Oh, I forgot I had that move. Yeah, take some energy, but I got that. Okay, we'll take care of burning the trash and move forward from there. A lot of debris just hanging around. Oh, what? Where? What? Oh, what the hell? Oh no! Oh, threshold remnant. Great. What are these guys? So that they explode when they're destroyed? Oh, Jesus Christ. There's so many of them. Oh, jeez. His charged. Oh, great. Field research on his entity. His charged agent. Confidential. Summary. By direct, by order of director Jesse Faden. I still love how it's like all oh, this just reports. Like, I guess as I'm coming across. The his charged agents are examples of extreme physical deformation resulting from his corruption. His charged display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused his resonance, so dense that it acts as a physical force. The his charged is depleted of the his corruption after this eruption. The host is left lifeless. 
This behavior may be an adaptive response to the HRAs. The Hiss charged are designed to blow the devices off potential hosts, exposing them to the residents. Is the Hiss capable of customizing a corrupted host's altered ability to this degree? Why is the physiology of the Hiss charge so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions, no answers. Yeah, we got a lot of those around here. <laughs> Alright. To the trash room! That's my thing, I'm the trash man. I get on stage, throw trash all over the ring. <laughs> I start eating the trash! This is it, right? And to see coolant pumps. Wait, I'm headed in the right direction, right? Missions, tracking. Yeah, directorial override. I gotta head this way anyway. Burn the trash around the furnace, but also fix the NSC coolant pumps and energy converters. Piled up in maintenance sector. Wait, burn the trash piled up in the maintenance sector? What, are they just like, around? I don't get it. Like if I change missions to the primary mission. Oh. Okay. So there is a difference. I was I was not too clear on that. Okay. Take care of the trash real quick. Uh, furnace chamber. Yeah, perfect. I like how there's an arrow <laughs> next to the wall. Whoa. Okay. Side room? I hear that sound. Oh, it's hiss. Okay. Little storage closet. Ritual impulse. Thank you very much. I need a bunch of those. Okay. Oh my god. Power cut. Replace the parts. Oh? Oh. Oh, that's simple enough. Oh, there we go. Oh boy. Alright, let's do this. Hell yeah. Come on, buddy. <laughs> yes, it's so fun. Uh-oh. Oh, no. And a flying one? Uh-oh. Ooh, there we go. Stay away. Nice. Oh, I'm still getting the hand of combat. This is great. All right, let's cleanse the damn point. I don't even think I took a hit and all that. Hell yeah. Ah, it's such a good feeling in a game when you get to hand of combat and you start like doing different combos and all that fun stuff. Nice. I done did dig it clan stuff. Ritual impulse. Alright, from here, it's off to the right. The furnace chamber. Oh my, that's bright. Cool, let's clear the trash. Okay. What's that barrel? Do? Oh, it's toxic vase. So I said burn the tra burn the trash around the main the furnace. How do I do that? Oh, it's got to be fucking hot. Oh my god. Ooh. Is is that what I do? It's so bright. Um, burn the trash around the furnace. Oh, does he mean these? <laughs> Crash. Did Ati mean barrels full of hazardous biological material? Oh, okay. It seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. Oh, and a recording. My name is Dr. Pierce. 
Oh. Okay. I've discovered a code Omega paranatural entity residing within the bureau itself. Right under our noses. In the furnace? Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. Oh boy. It's been talking to me for some time now. I mean I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. I mean, possibly. And, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... Oh, oh, sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. What? Oh, shit. What? Oh, no. I don't know about that. Oh, is there another... Oh, it's right there. Okay. hi -ya! That's not what I wanted to do. Hey, I'm cheating. <laughs> Just casually disposing of toxic waste. Ah, oh, it's like piercingly bright. How is she not sweating to death in that in that jacket? Oh, and you? Is this just gonna be as simple as this? Like no hisser showing up. Very much. Is, is it growling? Like, watch it, like, talk to me after all this. Like, thank you, director. <laughs> it's like, feed me Seymour. I guess feed me Jesse. That makes more sense. Can I run with this? No, I can't run. I'm kind of running. Probably just one or two more, right? Um, oh! <laughs> I thought I turned my notification. My bad, I thought I did. Apologies. Can I not go up there? No, I can't go up there. There should be probably one more downstairs, right? And yeah, there it is. Thank you. Whoops! Damn it. Oh, there's a document down here anyway. At least you can hold an object for as long as you need to without it draining your energy. I like that feature. There we go. What a mess. Burn the trash. Ah, threshold rem remnant, and a remnant and a damage boost. What's damage boost for? Accuracy boost. Uh, da da, 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 damage boost, 15%. Oh. Huh. Let's see if I swap it out, because right now I have a 6% accuracy boost, but I could, I would love a 15% damage boost. I'll try that out, see where it gets me. Meanwhile, uh, viva documentis. Mail tube complaint. Hey, Bozer, get the, I almost thought Boozer, I'm getting days gone flashbacks. Hey, Bozer, get this. The accounting department still says they haven't received my expense reports. They say the receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because of a shift or a threshold or some such fuckery. That if I don't have the originals, they can't verify my expenses for reimbursement. This is such bullshit. Why do we even use these fucking tubes if they just spit our mail out in some other goddamn dimension? Just venting here before I make a formal complaint. Useless pieces of shit. Rodriguez. Alright. Anything else down here? Some remnants, perhaps? Anybody? Oh, there we go. I knew there'd be something. Correction, I was hoping there'd be something. Ooh, a personal mod energy boost. What do I have right now? Uh, health boost. Hmm. Health recovery, energy boost, launch efficiency, health recovery, launch efficiency. Ah, uh, health recovery 25%, so health boost, energy boost, health boost, 
25%. I can probably deconstruct that then. Energy recovery boost. I should see energy boost. 55%, 5%. I can deconstruct a lot of these. Launch efficiency, health recovery. 20%, 20%. Deconstruct one of those. Recovery 26%. Health recovery. All right, cool. We'll get rid of that one then. Um, launch energy cost. Nine percent, eight percent. Keep the nine percent. Energy boost. Six percent, eight percent. Get rid of that one. Perfect. Easy peasy lemon parcheesy. All right, let's get out of here. Back to the task at hand to fix the coolant pumps. Be an old movie man. He's got to explore every nook and cranny. I gotta look for all the loot and all the secrets. Like a ladder that I can- <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that I can kinda climb. Oh Jesus. Oh, can I get up here? <gasps> oh, I could! Hey, look at that! I didn't think I was gonna be able to climb that ladder! <laughs> That's great. Open sesame, bitch. I earned this one. Dodge efficiency. Is that a- the TV on a fireplace chilling back there? That is interesting. Here, I'll make this a bit of a longer episode just to, uh... Yeah, we'll make it longer. Take care of the coolant pumps. Oh, we're in the rocks now? Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. We need to fix this thing ASAP. Yeah, we're working on it. You're literally working on it. Ooh. I can't get up there. I know there's something about like a quarry. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Nobody. Oh, Jesus. What? Where? Ah, more? Where? I saw that shot. Don't think I didn't. What? Hey, bitch, where you, where you at? Ah, hell. There we go. Guess I'm going down anyway. Upset easy? Oh, I hear the hiss. NSC coolant pump. I, mean, I love. I, I don't know what it is about that. I just like the 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 simplicity and yet the uh, official nature of the the big text just over everything. Go to city, fix it fast. If the plant goes boom, you can throw the spoon in the coal. Oh boy. Oh shit. Oh, they blocked me in too. Clever bastards. Oh god. Any more? Gotcha, bitch. Well, I got one pump back online. Any more bad guys? Where's the other coolant pump? Is it up there? Is that it? No more bad guys? Bunch of batteries around here. <gasps> Document. Gotta have. Claw complaint. A lot of complaints around here. Very bureaucratic. Um, that gross blockage down in the water systems is back. What the fuck is it? And where does it keep coming from? And why the hell does Ati keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like he can understand him. Of course, he acts like we can understand him, too. I guess it's just his brand of crazy. I'm gonna try out a new drain cleaner. Extreme strength. Mm, okay. They're just floating around everywhere. Oh, another one right here. I can't tell if that's working or not. Oh, Jesus. 
Oh, that worked. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I didn't even see that. Where's the launcher? Oh. There we go. There we go. Where's the other one? Is he below me? Oh, yeah, there's a bunch down here. Damn it. <laughs> I conked them on the noggin. Uh, I do need their health, though. Well, there we go. Got that health. Uh, more pumps down here, I think. Ouch. Where is it? I just need to find the receptacles for the battery. Over here? Oh, I think it's over here. There we go. Perfect. What is blocking up? What? Now. Oh God. The clog. Is blocking the pipes. The clog. And what? The? Okay. He's trying to sneak in. He got him caught with his hand in the fish trap. Get rid of him. What the fuck? Pipe works. I don't like the look of this. Uh, oh shit, what? Oh, what the fuck? I do it? How is that? I have, I have no idea. I've ever seen. Oh god. At least it's recessing. What the hell? Man, we're in the shit now. Possibly, literally. Ugh. Oh, Jesus, I didn't even see that. Ugh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my bad. Can I get hurt back here? The clog. What the hell's the clog supposed to be? Is it like an uh, like a world altering event? Oh, here we. There's one more to claw to clear up back here. Then. Oh, I can't. Okay. All right. Nothing over here. Jesus. Disgusting. Easy does it. Here we go. Here's the... Nice. Threshold Remnant. Alright. Oh. Did I clear it? Oh yeah, I must have gotten rid of the... I don't know what that is, I'm not sure I want to know. Oh! Oh, jeez. Just hold together a little longer. I cleared it. I don't even know what that was. There we go. More <laughs> cool. Cool, it's back online. Any secrets down here before I head back upstairs? I feel like there's gotta be... Oh, health, please. Gotta be something hiding around here. Oh! 
Big guy, new guy. Oh god, he's a big guy. Distraction. Gotta get out of here. Get some high ground on him. Half health. Move, move, move. Come on, almost got him. Got him. I hit trooper. Oh boy. <laughs> Confidential summary. Troopers are meant to be the first agents to enter unknown AWEs, thresholds, or any other paranaturally hazardous situation. They are heavily armored and heavily armed in preparation for the worst. As a result of their role, his troopers have access to the heaviest armor and weaponry from the Bureau's armory, including military-grade chain guns and grenade launchers. In addition to their already formidable FBC-issued armor, the Hiss resonance surrounding these entities is dense enough to stop bullets. If forced to engage one of these, be sure to make use of any available cover. Also note that, to the telekinetically talented, enemy grenades can be a welcome source of ammunition. Alright, so there's just more classes of bad guys, basically. Is what you're telling me. Good to know. So does that mean there's nothing else to find down here? Oh. Um. Maybe? I don't think there is. Lift? Does this just go upstairs? Or is it gonna take me past all this? Oh! There's a higher level here? I did not realize I was gonna go this high. Hmm. Where the hell? Oh. I hear gunshots. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Alright, I'm, I'm here to help. Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus. Proper handling procedure. Nice. Ow! Get out of here, you bitch. We got this. What? Oh my god. Unstable. I'm just getting all the trophies. Oh my god, there's so many. Ooh, easy, easy, easy. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ, did I get- <laughs> That was a lot. That was like an assault here. That was fun, though. <laughs> I popped like five trophies in a row. <laughs> Whatever works, man. Whatever works. You good, girl? You're like in half health, you should find some of those little sparkly boys. So, I believe that means I went, alright, furnace chamber, done, coolant pumps, those are all set. So, in the next episode, we'll head over and take care of the energy converters. Yeah, that sounds about right. Whoops. Alright, cool. Well, stay tuned for the next episode of Control. We'll make sure this whole place does not 
Uh, eczema, eczema explode. Where's that light coming from? Uh, whatever. We'll make sure we don't explode. <laughs> so yeah, goodbye, travelers.